Shannon Hutchinson is with us this morning in studio here on 1077 and she is our woman of the week. <laughs> Good morning and welcome. Good morning, Trinidad. Good morning, Michelle. How are you doing? I am great. It I'm is a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for having me. You look radiant as ever. I know you were flying just yesterday, so it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> to see how you're able to put everything together. How are you able to do all of these things? The only way to do it is to do it, right? I mean, um, I a lot of people ask me that how do you do the art and the flying yes. and uh, while having time to get involved and in, more involved in carnival id90 travel the travel network and all of that and and the th the key is that you need to love everything that you do and and follow your dreams and your passions and once you do that doing anything w will not feel like a job it will be a pleasure to to work to, to go to work you right. know so yeah, I understand that part of it in terms of following what you're passionate about. But everyone has challenges. Everyone has various obstacles that they have to overcome. Absolutely. But my question is, how are you able to stay above the clouds? Well, nobody is immune to challenges. Yes. Nobody is immune to failure. So once you go forth into the world knowing that, um, I always tell people, you know, it's better to... If you're, we're not immune to failure, so you might as well do something that you enjoy and that you love. Right. Um, so yeah, it's and it's it's all about your perspective. You know, it's all about how you deal with um, disappointment. Um, if, if you can pick yourself up and do it quickly and move on and keep trying, then that's the way to do it. It's the only right. way to do it to, yes. to maintain your happiness and to be able to you know kind of spread the love and, and to share with everybody else. It's the, it's the only way you can do that. You got to pick yourself up and keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> I like that. Aviation, I know, has greatly impacted your work as an artist. Yeah. From the VIP view that you're given. <laughs> Why do you think it is vital that we keep chasing the light? Again, it just goes back to keeping moving. You know, when I was when I was very little, there's something that was never lost on me when I looked out of the cockpit. Of course, when I was back then, I was able to be in the cockpit with my father. And we were always chasing the horizon, we were always mm. chasing the light, you know. And, and these are, are all titles, of course, to, to um, art exhibitions that I've had and to right. paintings that I've had and, and, and the whole theme of my art for the last 20 years. And I, I really can see how it can also translate in life in terms of, you know, you got to keep going. you got to keep, do the next thing, go to the next step. Okay, you've achieved one goal, but that's not it. You know, you, you got to keep pushing, you got to keep going. And again, when you're doing something that you love, that's really easy to do, you know. And, and uh, again, you, you got to share and, and give back. Giving back is so important as well. Yes. How do you feel when you see that light that you speak about? I wish I could share it with everybody and my attempt to do so is always in my paintings. Right. Um, no picture can really translate what we see up there. Um, you know, I, the other day I was flying and, and of course it was raining, but when, there, when there's rain, there are rainbows. And, um, and I mean that very literally as well, you know, and, but from the air, a lot of times the rainbow that we see versus on the ground is round. We can see the whole thing. Wow. And then sometimes you get that double rainbow and you can see both of them and it's really cool. And, and, you know, I can describe that. I could take a picture, but there's nothing like it in the air. And again, that's, I think that's why I choose to paint the things that I do, because that's the only way I can translate what I see um, and be able to share it and, you know, in a way that, that is unique. Yes. Knowing that your passion for both aviation and art started in your teenage years. Gosh, I was probably even younger than that, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but what can you say to adolescents now that you know would impact their future? Again, um, to nobody is immune to failure, so don't live in fear. You just have to do what you love. Find what you love and do it. Don't be afraid. Um, you know, I worked hard when I was young. I, I didn't go to all the parties and the fets and I, I didn't do all of those things. I stayed home and I worked hard. Right. And I was able to do my pilot's license and my art degree in the same amount of time that it took my contemporaries to do one or the other. And it's because I worked hard and I enjoyed every minute of it because there were things that I loved to do. 
Um, so don't be afraid to follow your dreams. Just work hard at it. Don't be in fr- uh, don't live in fear. Don't be afraid of um, failure. You just gotta pick yourself up and and keep moving forward. Don't look back. That's not where you're going. You're not going backward. You're going forward. You know. And don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. Just do it. <laughs> Our woman of the week, <laughs> Shannon Hutchinson. Thank you so much for joining us here on 107.7. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was absolutely amazing and very inspiring. And I know that it's not only going to impact our nation's youth, but anyone listening would have been very moved by it. So thank, thank you. Thank you for letting me share my experience with you guys. Artist, <laughs> pilot, entrepreneur, philanthropist. <laughs> Shannon Hutchinson, thank you once again. One seven seven. We get right into. You like Parang, right? I love oh, Parang. Oh, I well, I have here San Jose Serenaders <laughs> with Vamos Toros, and yes, we've got to go. Move forward. That's your message. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>